Welcome back to Lab Rat Guitars Stra. Welcome back to Lab Rat Guitars slash Tall Tech Pickups. And today we're going to be replacing the output jack on this Stratocaster for a Switchcraft new one because this is a little tarnished and all gunky in there and it's cutting out. It doesn't want to clean up. So we'll put a nice new sturdier Switchcraft one in here. So with the Fender Mexican like this one is, the thing that can be a little annoying with the desoldering of things like wires from the pots or the output jack like this is that at the factory they thread the wire through the little opening in the jack socket and then they kind of wrap it around and then solder which makes the desoldering a little uh, less desirable let's say so we've got plenty of wire and so what we're going to do with this one is just right at the base there we're just going to snip it to stop us from faffing about trying to desolder and burning and also burning the plastics of the the shielding for the wire or the the cover let's say that goes over the PVC we don't want that to melt etc etc so we've snipped that off and then we'll just get our wire strippers here and then just strip a little bit of bare wire I've already done the signal wire and this is just the ground one I always, when I'm working on guitars like this, I just it's a little cloth. Just put a little cloth over the guitar there and protect the finish because the solder sometimes can spit out little bits that want to drop onto the finish. This is a poly finish. It's not that susceptible to any damage, um, but we want to be careful. And if we're working on older instruments with a nitro finish and things like that, we don't want solder splattering about anyway. So put a rug down we have stripped the wire back and then we're just going to tin the end of this we've got our soldering iron up to a 400 degrees c just belt that up there and we've got our pre-fluxed solder here and then we're just going to tin that wire and you see a little bit fly there that's what i'm talking about on the new switchcraft I've just scuffed up the lug we've got. This is the ground lug. You can see where it is connected to the centre part, which is where the sleeve will go. This tip here, you can follow. If you, you, can, you can see it by tracing it round. Have a look where the, the pin of the tip goes to, and you can see it comes round to that one. The ground to sleeve, you can see it's impressed in that. And I like these Switchcraft ones because they're formed a little better quality the these are kind of pressed together and peeled over that's what sandwiches it all together and these don't move about you get the cheaper ones and sometimes this can tend to want to spin like that if they're not really properly well made so we'll just tin again the tab on the jack socket being careful to be cautious and mindful of the fumes that are coming off the soldering iron, trying to breathe those in and get a little fan going if you like and then I'll just wrap that around a couple of times now we can use tweezers but we've got a lot of heat on here and we're just going to be straightening them out so we're going to put the two pieces together here and then introduce the solder if you can see that the iron and then once that will open up that hole in the tab again we're just going to slide this through and in it goes there and then we're just going to bring a little bit of the solder up to it we've got a tiny bit of scorching and melt in there but it's not too much we don't want a lot of the bare wire exposed out because it might fray and we'll let that go off for a sec and then we'll just top up 
introduce it a little bit more. We'll just flood that a little. And you'll see it goes off to a grey there. And that's cured. So there we go. Being cautious when we handle it because it'll be quite hot. And we want to make sure that we don't have an excess of wire poking through which might then interfere with the socket once it goes in if the signal wire let's say is too much and excessive and it touches the sleeve of the jack tip it's going to cause a short but there we go that's all nice and secure and we're clear there so what we'll do is we'll remove the old socket from this housing we're going to put the this doesn't seem to have the star washer on on the base which just helps it grip a little better to this piece that holds it onto the body and we can see that one on there so we're going to remove that place it on here this will go on we'll tighten it with our wrench nice and secure replace it back on there and we've got a new jack socket easy <laughs>